Hi, independent study students. Uh, this video is meant to help you along your way for the digital advertisement piece. Um, this is not for that, um, but I did want to go through making a new document. So um, this is something else I'm working on for a photography class. So um, uh, I am in Photoshop here. I have already taken my pictures and brought them in um, to my computer, they're saved in my downloads, and I'm going to bring them into Photoshop in just a second here. So I'm going to go File, New Document, right here at the top, Command M, I'm sorry, Command N for New Document. Here, um, I am going to work a, a, as a photo, so this gives me some presets here, and I'm going to do a default Photoshop size. It's a 7x5 at 300 ppi. That should be perfectly... Um, acceptable for what we're working on here. Um, I might title this like, I don't know, add um, one, something like that, advertisement one, add one, I don't know, whatever you want. I'm going to leave it like this, 300. All of these things are good, exactly what I want, and I'm going to go create. It's going to make it give me a white page like this. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to start here. I need to bring the photo, so I actually photographed a shoe. Um, it's my running shoe. It's actually kind of a dirty shoe. I tried to, I thought about getting it clean and I was like, oh, that's a lot of effort right now. Um, so I'm, I just photographed my shoe. So I'm gonna place, and I'm gonna place embedded right now. Um, I don't want it linked. I, I actually want the embedded file into Photoshop. Um, so I'm gonna sort this by date. I brought in, so I have a few pictures here. Um, let's take a look. So there's my dirty Hoka shoe. Uh, let's pick one that I really like. If you notice, this is just my shoe on sitting on a white piece of paper. Um, that's going to make the white background on this is going to make it easier to cut it out in Photoshop, which is what I want to do. Mm, which angle? Mm, maybe this angle. No. I think I like this. So let's do that one there. So that's that, and I'm going to place it in. Here it is placed into Photoshop. I'm just going to check mark it so it's placed or hit return either way. And so now I have this image file on this white background. Pretty straightforward and easy. Um, so my next step is basically to do a selection. There are a couple of different ways to do this. Um, I'm going to try a couple things. I haven't tested this out yet. Um, I'm going to try to do a subject select, and let's see if um, Photoshop can figure out that I want the shoe as the subject, and it does. Look, it does a pretty darn good job. Um, I am noticing, yeah, that looks really good. Down here, it has captured some of the shadow, and I actually don't want that shadow there, so I'm going to use, um, underneath my magic wand here, I have a quick selection tool, and I'm going to use that quick selection tool, zoom in close, um, and I'm going to actually hold Option, which gives me the negative sign on my quick selection tool, and run it just along this edge. And it's going to start removing that. Look at that. Look how good Photoshop is. So I'm just running that, holding my Option key, and it's removing the selection from the shadow area. Look at that. That's pretty darn good. And I'm just scrubbing. Look here, we missed something. Missed something here. I'm gonna select that. I'm just scrubbing the area, checking to make sure that that selection looks pretty good. I'm gonna shrink this down and clean that up right there. Interestingly enough, we do want to remove this part, so I'm gonna add that. Uh, I'm sorry, remove this part out of the selection. Zoom in even more, shrink my, so I'm using my left and right bracket keys to change the size of my uh, brush for this. And I just made a mistake, do that. Oh, come on. It's not quite as nice as I want it to be. 
Yeah, you're missing that. Uh, let's see if we switch tools. Magic wand. If I hold the shift key, it adds to the selection. Oh, the option key removes from the selection. There we go. There we go. So I'm in closer here. Can I get that little bit? I think that's pretty good. I'm zoomed in pretty far and uh, that looks nice. Okay, how about here? I have a little thread or something hanging out there. I have to Photoshop that out later. There we go. I'm gonna add here, so shift click. Adds a little bit there. This looks good. All right, I think we're good here. That looks great. Now, what I wanna do is I'm trying to remove the shoe from the background. If I click this mask button here with the selection active, if I click the mask button, it's going to create this mask here. I'm gonna show you the mask. It looks like that, right? And so now it's only showing the white background behind. That's pretty darn good. So now I have my shoe on a clean, actually I'm gonna put it on a, just a clean backdrop like this so it's clear, no white even. So it's clear, completely clear for me to work with. Okay, I'm gonna launch Illustrator while I save this. Why? Because what I want to do now is bring this into Illustrator and make it a part of my um, design piece. So I want to save this. I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save it in my Cloud Documents here. I'm going to call it Add One, and I'm going to have it in my Cloud Documents. I'm going to save it here. Save it. And that's going to take just a minute to save. It's already done. Look at that. Notice the little cloud symbol here, which means it's in my Creative Cloud documents when I open Adobe Illustrator. Let's check out Illustrator. So now I'm in Illustrator, and this is where I really want to make my where I want to make my design. I'm going to get into this, and I want to work for web here, um, which basically means it's going to be a digital file. We could even work for mobile. For, so it's going to fit specifically on an iPhone or an iPad or something like that. Um, I think I'm just going to go for web and uh, I, I'm going to go a smaller size, a 1024 by uh, 768. That's like a medium size landscape advertisement. Basically fits on a computer screen. Um, and we could call this advertisement. I'm just going to call it Rodriguez ad and I'm gonna work in inches not pixels just because I like inches better and um, I'm gonna have one artboard for my design I don't need any of these you know I might go for screen I might go 150 ppi that's pixels per inch um, 72 was a standard size for screen um, up until about four or five years ago um, with the newer high resolution screens that we have, um, I would feel way more comfortable doing 150 ppi. 125 is basically a high retina, high, high resolution retina screen. So 150 makes it so I know, hey, I'm confident that that's enough pixels per inch where I'm not seeing any digital noise. Um, and here I'm going to hit create. And now I have my artboard. Here, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in my uh, my shoe. So I'm going to do a place, and I want to place it from my cloud documents. And let's grab that add one. And this doesn't matter. I didn't put any text on it, so I'm just going to place it in like this. Click, drag, and now I have a shoe with a clear background. Nice. My wife's calling me. <laughs> She's upstairs hollering at me. So, um, okay. So next we want to start building our advertisement at this point. Um, what I might do is, um, 
what I might do here, so now my daughter was hollering at me too. What I might do here is actually um, create some cool colors, and I want to pull those colors from the shoe. That's what I would do. So I just feel like the colors of this shoe, even though my shoe is pretty dirty here, um, should be what this advertisement's all about, in my opinion. And so I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool and eyedrop something like this, and that's going to put that color there and here. And I'm going to say File, New Swatch, and create this. I don't even know. I'm just going to go Color 1. Hit OK. And that's going to be there. And I might do that again for this color. New Swatch, Color 2. Um, maybe this gray here. And do we want to do a dark gray as well, just in case here? That's black, I feel like. Let's zoom in on that. This darker. So I did this this gray already. There's the dark gray. So now I have four colors plus white. I feel like that should be good enough to get started. So here are my four colors. Um, what I might do is say like, okay, what kind of advertising piece am I going to create here? Uh, let's get a new layer going. So this layer one is going to be my shoe or image layer. And then I'm going to create a new layer here and say background. Yeah. Boom. And so now I'm going to lock my shoe layer for now have a background layer and maybe what I want to do is I'm gonna create some kind of really cool um, background piece where it's like um, I don't know shapes graphics graphic shapes or something so I'm thinking very specifically like polygonal shapes um, maybe like I'm thinking more like triangular and this is what I, in my head anyways, this is what I was thinking. Where these shapes just fly through the space like that. And for now, let's just do it in black and white with no fill. So just black strokes on there. So I'm going to duplicate this maybe a couple of times, but for now just once and turn this I think the size, changing the size of this should matter, leaving some negative space and maybe having one more. that flows I feel like I need something more horizontal here oh come on I'm pushing the wrong button that's why duplication with the option key let's go this direction with it oh now I'm rethinking what I did look at this okay so this is gonna fit here which means this has to fit a different direction maybe the size of this isn't right Maybe it shouldn't be this angle. I do kind of like them going off the page, but let's just see what happens here. Okay, so now I have my at least an idea of what I want my triangles to look like. So let's give it a background, um, rectangular background. I'm going to look at my layer stack here. I'm going to add uh, a rectangle into my layer stack that's going to kind of fill this whole space right off the page and move that rectangle down to the bottom. 
And then now I'm going to use my swatches panel and maybe like that. And next, I'm going to switch my layers so my background is behind my shoe. And then click on this guy and let's play with the colors now. Um, I feel like this is going to be that one and this one's going to be this one and this one's going to be this one. And now I'm starting to create this design. All of these have a black stroke on them, so I want to turn that off. Okay, so obviously I have a ways to go here, but I've got the beginnings of what I think are an interesting advertisement advertisement piece. Obviously, I, I mean, I'm totally winging this. Um, the shoe isn't the right size here, so I'm going to adjust the size of that. Um, option shift drag out to increase that size keep it in the space there I think also at this point um, I would need to start thinking about like what kind of text or font is gonna fly through here um, about running about being an athlete I don't know something like that and making sure that that font matches the color and that's the idea that's the idea of this assignment right is to create a digital advertising piece that relates to sports and could be posted in social media or something like that. So hopefully this was helpful. Obviously this is an incomplete final design, but now I've given you some techniques that you might use to successfully go from Photoshop to Illustrator and create that digital file, save this out, and, um, and be able to post that digital file into um, Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Actually, now that I'm thinking about that, if this were gonna go on Instagram, it would need to go square. So think about that. If that's what you're gonna go with, we would want this art board to actually be square. So I would go in here and say, hey, I need this to actually be like this. Hit okay. And now I have this square space to work in, which means I need to adjust what I'm doing. Rework the size of this. It was better when it was smaller like this. And maybe I need to rework my triangles. So think about how you want, what you want the final results to be and make sure it's going to fit into that space, whether that's the square on Instagram um, or a rectangular shape that's going to fit on Twitter. You might look up the number of pixels that that needs to be that's going to fit onto one of those platforms all right thank you for your time uh, email me if you have questions or uh, concerns and i'll see you guys on friday